two days ago I was talking with Damon about um, works of art and how they are all in dialogue with one another. I don't believe in this idea that an artist has a full conscious intention of what he's doing and he does it just off of some master plan in his mind in this way. I mean, especially the way we've been working with improvisation and spontaneity and serendipity and all this sort of stuff. Um, and then there's, of course, the way that the art is in dialogue with all of the other art that exists and then comes out after. And, you know, or you realize something like, oh, my God, you know, Lonely Man Beer is, is like astonishingly similar to um, Genet's film, you know, and that's not something that was preconceived. But it's so, I mean, it's so uh, resonates with that film that, like, who could deny it? And then yesterday I, I was watching a um, Andy Warhol documentary. At one point they say, by 1960 he was painting existing magazine ads on canvas in a style that combined the graphic linear approach of commercial design and the drippy gestural marks of fine art painting of the time. And they showed this image of a royal typewriter. I'd used this royal typewriter in my uh, first film, Splendor, in 1997, 16mm. I mean, it really hit me, you know, and I. It seems like the type of typewriter that someone like Warhol would like because of the name or the word royal and his um, seeming obsessions with, with royalty or the ruling class and trying to get in with them in some way or be accepted by them um, and so I uh, you know began to look around on the internet for uh, images of the royal typewriter paintings well again I should mention that today is um, Tuesday February 23rd 2016 and yesterday was of course uh, February 22nd 2016 and uh, and Andy Warhol died on that day in 1987 at 58 years old.